hello guys welcome to this video now before i move on to the opportunity i want to share with you guys in this video i think it's worthwhile that we talk about the development of ai so far now last year I was very big on agi agi stands for artificial general intelligence it is basically ai is having the intelligence to think like humans so we trained ais on like which response is better and why do we choose one response over another but right now ais have grown so well to the stage where they no longer need people to tell them which response is better but they need experts to help them progress to the next stage of AI training, which is actually the stage called super intelligence. And this is where this company comes in. This company is a company that links you as an expert to these AI research labs. So irrespective of what domain you're in, what country you're located, you can be in the US, Canada, UK, Nigeria, India, Ghana, Kenya, irrespective of any country you're located, as long as you have any kind of expertise in any domain, maybe you are a graduate of um, engineering, you're a graduate of English, you're a graduate of any domain. Also, there are some roles that does not require any particular expertise, and these are roles that you can apply for. So this website is a website that is very important. You want to watch the video till the end, and you will definitely gain something from this and make your application. So for those of you that have been in this channel for some time, you know I've reviewed Micro One before, but back then they didn't have like one unified place like this where we could just come and see all the old jobs. We had to go to LinkedIn, look for particular roles and make application and try to pass the AI interview. And in this video, I'm also going to be showing you how to pass the AI interview. I'm going to be giving you helpful tips and guide that is going to help you pass your AI interview. Now, the first step I want you to do is to come to this, to this place and you look for any role that you want to apply for. Now you have to take notes that some rules are location specific. For example, if I go ahead and click on this education AI trainer, you can see if it loads up that this require, even if here is showing remote, but you can see for UK based candidates. So if you're in the UK, you can go ahead and apply for this. So we want to look for a role that will be completely global or that will be for your country. So I can also come down and see this role that says content evaluation specialist. I can click on this and right in the location, you can see it says India. So if you're in India, you can apply for this particular role. But I'm looking for a role that is completely global. And also the way this website is, is, is made is very awesome. You can see new positions that we posted like just yesterday, three days ago. So I will say anything within a month is very good for you to go ahead and submit application for. So I can see here the video editor AI trainer role. I can go ahead and click on this. And I can see that it's completely global and I can go ahead and make my application for this. So you want to always also make sure that you're qualified for the role you're applying for. So you can go ahead and read for the responsibility and the skill so that you know you're qualified for this particular role. Now, when you've seen a role that you want to apply for, and uh, you want to do this next step I'm going to show you, which involves using ChatGPT to prepare for your exam. This is nothing wrong. It is completely good within the confines of good pra practice because it's just a preparatory stage. Before we even move to the ChatGPT, you want to go to the home page of Micro One and try one of their test interviews. And also, if you're watching this channel, maybe you're meeting me for the first time, you're not subscribed to this channel, please do well to click like, you know, subscribe and drop a good comment. It helps to support the channel. And let's dive back into what we're talking about. So you just want to come here and type Micro One interview prep and go ahead and click on this. Then go to this page, the top result. It's going to take you to this page where you're going to see a lot of different roles that you can prepare for. It's just going to show you how the interview is framed and like what to expect in your own interview. What I'll generally advise, you want to look for the role you're applying for, the video editor role right there, and you're going to search if you're going to see any role related to video editor. So you are going to do a, uh, your own interview and it's going to give you very similar questions for you to expect. So if I go here and try video editor, I can see, yes, there's no role. So I can just take any random role and just try the test interview and see how the questions are. So I'm just going to click on practice interview. Remember, this is not a rated interview. It's just a practice interview. So I'm just going to allow this. And now you're going to see the skills you're going to be tested for. And this is very important. Hi, user. My name is Zara. I'm an AI recruiter at Micro One. Thank you for joining the interview. How's your day going so far? And yeah, you're going to see the exact skills you're going to be tested for. And this is very important for the next stage. I want to show you that will help you prepare so that you will be surely like you're going to surely pass this interview. So now if you're done with this, you can just take your time. It's just around 18 to 20 minutes. 
go through this interview then you go to this next stage i want to show you so the next stage you want to go to chat gpt and you're going to drop this exact prompt or something similar not verbatim but something like in the lines of this prompt just explaining to chat gpt that you're preparing for an ai interview with micro one and you want it to give you and you're going to paste the skills where i'm going to show you where you're going to see the skills you're going to be tested for and you're also going to paste the job description and ask chat gpt to give you some possible questions to expect and you're also going to keep prompting chat gpt when you see these questions to you know help you train and prepare for this interview so you can see i've typed i'm preparing for an ai interview with micro one and here are the skills i'm going to be tested for so i just put a colon and i pasted these skills so when you're making your application you want to look through these required skills because this is what your the ai is going to test you for so you're going to copy these skills and you know add it to your prompt these are the skills i want to be tested i'm going to be tested for and also go on to say um here is the job description and you're going to paste everything within this job description to ChatGPT, and you're going to end by telling it to help you prepare and give you possible questions that you are to expect for this interview. Now, when you do that, you're just going to get results from ChatGPT. and you go ahead and, you know, go through the questions, read, and it's worth noting because you're using ChatGPT to prepare does not mean that if you're not qualified for a role, you're going to get it. So make sure it is only roles you're qualified for that you're applying and you're preparing and practicing for. I advise you take like one to two hours making this preparation, you know, going through the test interview, the prep interview, and going through these um, questions with ChatGPT, refreshing your knowledge, refreshing your residual knowledge, and getting prepared for your own interview. Now, after successfully completing the interview, you're going to be invited to join the Slack community where you're going to see other annotators and evaluators like you. You're also going to be given your own personal dashboard create your profile, do some verification, and you're going to have a dashboard where you're going to be visiting from time to time to make more applications. So if you see here, this is my own personal dashboard. And from time to time, I just come here and this is a job that is said to be actively that matches my profile, but unfortunately it's for India. So I'm not going to apply for this one, but I can see active jobs here that I can just go through from time to time. So I can see English specialists, customer service, different roles here that I can apply for. And it's still almost the same process, but in this case, you now have an account. You're going to be see the skill to see the skills you're going to be tested for right here. And just like we prepared for the last one, you can also copy these skills and prepare with ChatGPT. And also go ahead and in fact view this job completely so you can see the job summary. And I can see here this position is completely remote, and I can make my application for this one immediately. In fact, after this um, video, I'm going to make an application for this role. Now, if you're wondering, micro one pays like very much good pays quite competitively compared to like other um, annotating companies. So it's a very good opportunity. And depending on your country, you can even end up to $2,000 per month from Micro One. So go ahead and make your application for Micro One. Now they pay with Deal and Deal is my best payment medium. It's the best payment medium I really enjoy receiving money from. So it's very easy to work with Deal. So it's easy everywhere. Like I think Deal practically works everywhere around the world. So you can go ahead and make your application and you don't have any fear of how to collect your money. Definitely you can withdraw your money. Also, it's worth noting if you pass in a, your AI interview and you're invited to create your account, that does not guarantee you that you have work. I've met over like 10 persons from my YouTube community on Micro One Slack community that have told me that they got jobs into Micro One from me, from me like making my videos. And it makes me like, I'm very happy whenever I meet people in the community. I'm currently also more working on a Micro One project, so I'm speaking from experience. So you have a high likelihood of getting into Micro One currently because there are lots of roles, over 200 plus roles there, and definitely something would meet your qualification and you can you know get shortlisted and start working training and advancing this ai model